Next is the good of the cause for the public, where members of the public are invited to express themselves on school-related matters of concern to the school community and members of East Brunswick to allow for fair and orderly comment period. Folks are reminded individual comments are limited to five minutes. M members of the public are also reminded this is a public televised meeting to protect the privacy of all students and staff. Okay. Concerns regarding individual students and staff members must generally be addressed first by meeting with the appropriate administrative staff. So if you have an issue with any of our staff members, okay, the appropriate uh, and required thing to do is to first discuss it with the superintendent. Um, and if you have discussed it with the superintendent and have um, still further issues, then this is the right form. Any members of the public wish to express themselves on school-related matters of concern to the community? Good evening. Please state your name and address for the record. Your name is Donald Simons. live at River Road in East Brunswick. I have a granddaughter that goes to uh, Churchill, eighth grade. Earlier this year, she was having a problem, and I pulled her out of school that day for the problem she was having. And I had Mr. Figueroa give me a call and ask me to bring her back to school, which I did that day. And <clears throat> the principal called me in his office to have a little talk with him. And during the talk, uh, I asked him how come he wasn't talking to her. He told me it's not his job. Well, I didn't agree with that. Uh, the same granddaughter, she was having problems in math because she's not good at math at all. Let, let me, have you spoken with the superintendent? Not the, the have you spoken I've, with Dr. Valeski? I've, I've called over to school. Okay, let, let me stop you. We, we do, it is required that, that as you address your specific matters, they do have to be addressed. In, uh, I've talked to Mr. Okay. Figueroa's okay. office. Okay, Dr. Sir, yes, sir, yes, we'll, we'll sir, get with Dr. Valeski's office. We're then. not going to comment on, on individual employees. I'm not giving any names out. Sir, it's, it's not, we, we have a duty to protect individual employees and their privacy rights. My I, suggestion I don't to you, know my what the employees' sir, names is, are. My suggestion to you, sir, is, is that you call I can't tell this? you what's going on okay. it would be because better. your school's not taking care of it? Well, right. Sir, you can come to a public meeting, but what I'm inviting you to do is to talk to Dr. Valeski, the superintendent of schools, give him a call tomorrow, and explain what is occurring, and then he can address it. That would be a more effective way of doing it as opposed to us because we cannot comment on individual employees. I'm not asking you to comment happening. on it. I'm asking right. you to look into it. Well, we will look into it, but we'd ask that you would please call Dr. Valeski tomorrow and let him know what the issues are so he can address them specifically. That would be a more effective way of handling it. Yes, and, and uh, Dr. Bully, will you be able to, to, to give him the phone number so he can call and make an appointment to either speak with by phone or in person with Dr. Valeski? Yeah, that is, we have to do that. That You have to go through the, the, the proper chain, um, and Dr. Valeski will be the next individual. All right, I'll, I'll do that. Then. Absolutely, uh, yes. I'd like to say one thing. Uh, Mr. Figaro, I'd like to thank you and your office again for helping me out on some of these issues and that. Uh, I don't know where I'd go without you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And Dr. Bully is right here and she will be able to give you uh, Dr. Valeski's information. Anyone else wish to address the board? Okay, seeing none, I will close the public portion. May I have a motion for this, uh, for agenda item? We have an EPHS student representative report. On here, have we gotten that yet? Oh, no, that's for the good of the cause later. Do you want to make move it to later? Do you want to do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. This was I'd rather hear from you now. Colleague suggestion that we do it earlier in the meeting. So let's see yes, how it goes. um, okay. what's going on? So, just a few things that have been happening and are going to happen at the high school. Um, I'm part of student council at the high school, so we hosted senior citizen prom on Tuesday. Um, and it's really fun to see um, all these senior citizens come. And they come all like dressed up. And um, a lot of them are um, repeat guests. So they like to come <coughs> and dance. And I know there's one particular um, senior citizen. And he's always up on his feet the minute the music starts playing. And he's always like bringing other people around, trying to like dance with them. So it's always fun to. Um, uh, create such an event for them and also serve them at this event. Um, also, tomorrow there will be a masquerade ball at the high school. Um, it's from six to nine, and it'll be hosted by the um, Language Honor Societies. So they're all collaboratively selling tickets, and so I am attending that, so I can't wait for that. Um, 
Today, boys tennis uh, placed second in the GMCs, so I want to congratulate them. And a lot of my friends um, are also part of the AP Ipple team. Um, and I know they were very happy because they came from a wild card um, entrance from their um, state level. So um, I just really want to congratulate them on their best in the Northeast uh, place. Um, also, Commitment Day is coming up on Monday uh, for all the seniors. And um, I have officially committed to Rutgers, New Brunswick. Yay. Yep, <laughs> thank you. So um, I can't wait to see my other peers committing to other colleges too. So um, I'm looking forward to that on Monday. And a little bit about this uh, Relay for Life event that is going to be hosted on May 19th. Um, at the beginning of the year, um, Dr. Vanilla um, started this whole initiative of working towards a cause as a school and then as a community. And I spoke about it earlier at one of the um, earlier meetings in the year. Um, and I'm just really motivated for this event personally because I think that we all, all of us students know someone that's been affected by cancer. So this, this cause, um, the American Cancer Society, is one of the most relatable causes that we've chosen. And I think that it's probably one of the best, um, I guess, best causes um, for us to work together as a school community. So I personally can't wait for that event and I can't wait to see all the administrators being dumped. <laughs> Can't wait for that. <laughs> yep. I thought it was just Dr. Vanilla was going to be dumped. No, I think it is Dr. Vanilla, but I think there's other teachers that are going to be along there, members. too. Yeah. <laughs> I think by, all, by the time all the tickets bought for Dr. Vanilla get expired, there's not going to be time for anybody else to be dumped. So. And Dr. Vanilla, where are you going to park <laughs> when the kids have your parking spot? Are you going to have to park in the senior lot? We'll find a spot. <laughs> 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 to be, to be determined. <laughs> to be determined. Yeah, we just had our winners drawn today. We had our winners for the parking spot drawn today, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Does Dr. Vanilla know who they are? <laughs> yeah. You do? Um, I think the senior was um, Claudia Ab Abudavan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right. Um, but I know she's a senior. I don't remember the junior's names. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. So they're all gonna get really convenient parking spots at the school. <laughs> yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.